Hello everyone and welcome to our live coverage of Ghent Wavelgem as the UCI World Tour descends on Flanders for the Cobbled Classics. This race often favours the sprinters but there are 10 climbs or Hellingen en route and the weather can be a decisive factor. Luca Paolini last year's winner not here to defend his title. Among those also here though Peter Sagan the world champion. So 243 kilometers ahead for these riders towards the coast on flat but exposed roads then south towards the French border into France actually then they hit the 10 climbs in quick succession between the 144th and the 209th kilometer mark the sting in the tail is the final one the Kemmelberg which they tackle from the steepest side the gradient there at its maximum reaches 23 degrees five climbs still to come between now and the finish the Bannerberg Kemmelberg Monteberg Bannerberg and Kemmelberg again. Crash oh. and the rider down on the deck is Jens de Bussera. Oh, that's a disaster for Lotto Sudal. De Bussera, the winner just a few days ago. Well, it just shows you how things can change in an instant here. This is the 23% side of the Kemmelberg now. Oh, and even more than that. 28.4 <laughs> maximum percent. Fabian Cancellara looking good. Set Van Mark in the middle of the road as well. Boone and there just losing a little bit of ground. Demar alongside him in the middle. Sagan looks good as well. They're in the middle of your picture. Van Avermaet on the right out of the saddle, sprinting up the climb. So Cancellara, Sagan, Van Mark, uh, Van Avermaet, and then just a little gap now going back towards Luke Rowe and a few of the others. But uh, this is a really good, strong climb here from Sagan and Cancellara is the only one who can go with him at the moment. Great ride from Luke Rowe. It looks like he is going to manage to get back onto the coattails of Stenek Stibar, who's the Etix Quickstep representative here. What a strong little group we've got here. And now they've joined uh, Kuznetsov at the front of the race. So Cancellara, Sagan, Van Mark and Kuznetsov on the front of the race. Little gap back to Greg Van Avermaet, Luke Rowe and Stenek Stibar. There it is. Is it bridgeable? Halfway now between the final climb and the finishing line. And they haven't lost any ground. No, if anything, it's all. increased, hasn't it? It yeah. was uh, 15 or 16 seconds as they hit the foot of the descent after the Kemmelberg. And uh, it's gradually gone up in chunks, really, hasn't it? Quickly leapt up to 30 seconds and stayed there for quite some time. And then went up towards 40. And that's where it's remained once again for the last five or six Ks. With one kilometre to go. Here we go. The big finish then of Ghent Wavelgum with Fabian Cancellara on the front. Final few hundred metres, Kuznetsov now sets off and makes the sprint. Just under six hours in the saddle, the Russian rider leads the way. Sagan's got work to do, but Peter Sagan now is in uh, second place right behind Kuznetsov and Sagan's going to come off his wheel right at the end and Peter Sagan just takes it on the line. For the second time in his career, the world champion now has a victory to his name with the rainbow jersey on his back as the chasing pack come in just seconds behind. They built a big enough cushion to take their time with the sprint. It was nervy, it was cat and mouse all the way and Peter Sagan timed it to perfection. He takes the win, winner in 2013 and now the winner of Ghent Wavelgem again for the second time in his career in 2016.